Hello, this is Red McNed, and we're back. Um, la let's see, last episode we were looking at stuff, and the stuff looked right back at us in such a way that made us think, wow, that's awesome. Let's, we, we gotta build it. So, now that we have, now that we have something better than this, I don't know, maybe, maybe I should keep this for, uh, for posterity, for posterior, uh, sake. But we need to figure out where we want to put those, uh, or put those buildings that we just learned how to make. Um, they're definitely going to go in here. We're probably going to look around and see what's going on. Uh, but first, we have to keep our eye on the grand prize. We we got to get those, uh, those, gra those crafting table necessities. So, I see that the wheat, the, the sugar wheat, <laughs> the sugar cane is caning along so we can uh, we can go ahead and uh, chop off the tops we'll chop top chop and don't worry I'll get the ones that go in the water because this is later we later we could be really wasteful and be like eh, whatever falls in the water you know whatever but right now we gotta plant our 80. Look at that, we have a nice stack of 80 wheat, or sugar cane. Just kidding. And this is eventually gonna go everywhere. And why not? Why not? I can think of no reason why they should be forgot. I believe the sun's going down. The sun's going down, so let's get these in the ground. Now we can sleep safe and sound. Hopefully by now we got some more wheat. If we have more wheat, then we can do more things that would be neat. I'd really like to get to the bed. I... Uh, eventually we'll have a easier way. Oh, I made that corner finally. I've never made that corner yet. Okay. Oh, yeah. I, uh, okay. Okay. You gotta, you gotta be patient with me. I know you're thinking, what is, okay. Actually, I don't know what you're thinking. That's something for me to chew on. Alright, so first things first, we need to get breeding. Gotta have little baby babies. <laughs> baby babies. Gotta have some ooh baby babies. Alright. A little bit for the uh, a little bit for the gardener, <laughs> and the rest should be able to help help repopulate. As you know, we've got a nice natural outdoor outdoor farm, full full range, free uh, free range is going on in full. And we have some very excited cows here. Oh, the, the wildlife is just so excited today. <laughs> you can just hear the excitement. Now let's see. Anybody else hiding around here? I know you're hiding here. We had other cows besides these. I believe they were over here. Alright, it's safe to say I have no idea where they are. So, what I'm going to do 
is help out the effort with cows by outsourcing my food to mushrooms. So I'm just going to be a I'm going to be a mushroom dweller eater, I mean, mushroom eating on dwelling. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick up some of these in the forest. Maybe I'll uh randomly find what I'm looking for. Hey. It's part two. All I need is one. Get over here. We just need bone meal to grow those things, and uh, we got ourselves some giant mushrooms. And those will feed us forever. Oh! There they are. What a beautiful group. Look at that. Look at that. The... Like a needle shot out of a, an arrow shot out of a cannon, with random accuracy, I've I've traveled and found my target. And as we parade through this triumphant time in everyone's life, we give thanks to everything that came before us. This this could take a while. I've 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 forced y'all, you all y'alls, to sit through this one time. I'm not gonna make you sit through it again. All right, we're here. This is truly a truly a joyous sound. Oh, careful, careful. Don't shove each other off. It's not worth it. Hopefully I didn't get any uh, beasts out there on accident. Wait, that's not the word I was looking for. Um, let's hope we didn't get any... <laughs> let's hope we didn't get any... What is it when you ex, when you crossbreed? Crossbreeding. That's what that is. Let's hope we didn't get any of that in there. And we'll... They'll, they'll, pretty, they'll be pretty happy. We also got a, a sheep with that, so... That's... That's looking really nice. Um, before, uh, I'll keep that there. I think I might just keep this as a monument to my own, uh, uh, having to live with my own mistakes. So, let's see. I could use a little bit more food. It looks like there's enough in there to feed myself. I'm going to dump off some stuff. It is inevitable that what's going to happen is I'm going to need to make a bigger farm. Oh, it's night already. Ah! I guess that really took a, took a long time to uh, do that stuff back there. Alright, well, I know the drill. I have nothing lit up. Like, nothing out here. And if I don't sleep... It's gonna feel up, feel, feel, feel up. It's gonna fill up really fast, with all kinds of crazy uh, voodoo and and whatnot, <laughs> whatever's whatever's out here. Uh, all right, I gotta collect myself. Oh, there's more. You know what? Maybe I should put a uh, a gate so I can get in and out of there. <laughs> Something, anything. Ah, uh, well, the the improvements necessary are both long-winded and easily executed, probably. So that's that's my fault on all of those fronts. 
So let me think. Oh yes, building houses. Oh yes. So we need to scout out locations that could be really nice for houses. I think they're all going they're all going to be out there. But let's let's see what resources what what sources of resource I'm going to finally get rid of that. Look how much easier that made made life. And how much happier. So we're gonna need a axe, which we have. And let's have a few replacements. You never know it. And you're gonna run out of wood when building with wood. So let's see. These are kinda pitiful in supply, but we'll take them. And I think there's some of that. Some of this, some of that, this, that, and the other thing. We don't need this for now. No, -uh. I'm gonna go through these very fast. Okay, we we got supplied up. We got suppled. And we're gonna get hungry, so might as well. You know what? These these are just growing like crazies, like a bunch of crazies. I remember not that long ago, last episode, in fact, just sitting around here for forever, waiting for these things to grow. So something's making them happy. All right. So first things first. We're going to pick spots that look good for houses. This was a good house spot, but now it's a monument. And it's going to stay that way, hopefully, for many generations to come. But let's look around in here. There's, there's some good spots. I kind of like this to be a sort of a road that leads up, which means the houses would be off to the sides. We have four of them, so that's a lot of houses to kind of find homes for. Haha. <laughs> that's a strange... That's a really strange statement, actually. We gotta find houses to find homes for. Um, This looks like it could be a nice spot, actually, for one. So, let's, uh, let's clear out the area. Worst case, we make a boo-boo, and we fill it back in with trees. No one ever talks about this when you go into the tree removal business, but sometimes you gotta wait for the the leaves to fall way after the tree does. It's just good science, or science in general. So let's see what else, what other good spots are. I like this, it's even got a nice little uh, whatever this would be. Let's see, I don't want to make these houses too far away from each other, but I don't want them that close together either. So that's why I'm kind of going way off to the sides sometimes and really uh, in search for good locations. In general, I like to build them kind of higher up than everything else to make them look bigger, more important, bolder, Rougher and tougher. There is no other. So we 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 gotta gonna gotta wanna look for cool spots where that can be useful. I also want to space these kind of further apart because I think they're going to specialize. Like, some of the houses are going to have different functions. Like, maybe one will host a certain type of farm, the other one will host a, will host a cow. They were a hearst, 
or Curdle. We got Murray Curdle back where we're from. Firm. <laughs> so if that mines. Also, worst case, we cut down too many trees, we plant new ones, and we have plenty of resources to build with. Yeah. Alright, we gotta commemorate this spot <clears throat> with some kind of a house. So this this is actually could be a nice spot for a house. And that will be the third one, so we have to find one more spot. Minecraft is a lot like craft mine. Those who minecraft and those who craft never mind. You know the the functionality of this is actually not bad. I I do sleep at night. <laughs> All right, just just so I'm not missing anything, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up all the the seeds that might have fallen. Johnny Appleseed on the spot. I love it when an apple just falls, right right as I'm flying by it, pot pot by it. Just so I'm keeping up with the myself, I'm going to keep this sugar cane going. And I should probably breed the cows, too. Man, this, this place is just so demanding. And we have 89 sugar canes to plant. Plus one is forty. Hmm. <laughs> that filled up relatively fast. Is it a sign that we're okay? Nah. We need more. At a certain point, I won't even want to harvest the stuff that's way out here, so maybe I should uh, think a little bit carefully, a little bit more carefully about where I plant these. Well, if they want to do that, then, well, okay. I have enough to get three more of these going. Let's see, who wants a baby? Who wants to make a baby? I didn't realize that babies could swim. I wonder if that's going to keep working. I don't know. <laughs> Okay. And I'll just take some of your essence. Thank you. 
Got to get those levels up. Oh, yeah, we have to find one more spot. Keep getting sidetracked. It's a little bit out here, but I think this might be a nice spot. All those crafting tables, and I didn't take one with me. What I also like about this spot is it's like at the edge of the domain where the the types of ground changes. It goes into a different a different wilderness. Oh. Ooh. Oh, he's being extremely that that those were weird sounds. Um I'm gonna have to check into that. Uh uh don't think those are supposed to be making that sound. That sh this chest should help. Might as well sleep. You can only sleep now. Wait for it. Wait. That's how you sleep. You start up high and then you go, Wait. and really the the impact. It sometimes it helps to have something hard next to your bed, so that when you can do this. And you go boom, then you just fall, fall right into the bed. Works like a charm. How how I found that out was uh, I I used to suffer from insomnia back 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 in the day, and really it would take me like an hour almost to fall asleep. The only time I actually ever did get to sleep at a decent time was when I misjudged the distance between the side of my bed and the wall. So I think really that just just goes to show you everything you'd ever need to know, uh, basically. All of life's lessons really come together in uh, this moment. And I'm, I'm sure you're glad you're, uh, you're listening to me right now. All right, enough lollygagging. I need to start with this house. It's going to go right here. I want to design a house around this. No, I'm j I I jest. But I'm going to use one of the uh one of the house designs from the last video. I'm going to put it down right here. And I'll pro I'm going to put one over there, and one over there, and one over there. All the spots that I cleared, I'm going to put at least one house there. And I haven't decided yet how I'm going to demonstrate me building something that I've already built on camera to make it more interesting. But I will once you see this. So this is a moot point. So there's no more point in me talking anymore. So let's go.
Well, I've gotten pretty far on just this first house, but I've I've hit a bit of a speed bump, and that speed bump is called I might have been a little overzealous about this uh this project so early on in the uh whole resource gathering game. I've managed to make the house almost completely, but I still have a bunch of others. I'm almost entirely out of cobblestone and wood luckily there's a bunch of it but there's just uh it looks like i need to get a little bit more mining going on actually just to uh to get more of this and i don't know it looks like i've, I've i'll i'll be fine i'll i'll be fine don't worry about me i'll i'll be fine but these these houses are coming in, but even with stretching these floor and ceilings to just half slabs, there's there's still a lot of work to be done, and this episode's pretty much run out of time, so that means that I'll have to probably do some more stuff. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll figure out how to get the rest of the resources. I want to get these houses built, though, um, just so they can kind of fill out the landscape a little bit more. Uh, I think that having stuff around is going to make this area start to look better and better. And I have the spots for them. Um, do I still have my shears? I still need to collect wool, too. Maybe I'll be repopulating a little bit more as well. I'm trying to hit hit all the, uh, the opportunities I can to come back here and... Uh, and get breeding but you know it's everything's everything's in in due time but while I was building I I decided that this area needs to be something special I was just gonna put a house here but what I want to do is this is kind of a really nice uh, spot. I didn't realize actually how good of a spot it was for for some sort of a thing that looks out over everything. Oh, I can see it from here if I kind of do this. It's right there, but I have to do a little corner of the eye thing going on. But this will... This is a good spot for something. And that's something is I don't, I don't want to say yet but it's going to be it's going to be ambitious and it needs I need more mining time it needs more mining time for it to work anyways so all but I I still have room for the houses so they're going to go in uh hopefully next episode they're going to come in new effects so I'm going to do probably a little bit more collecting of things really quick and that'll wrap this up This has been Red McNed, and I'm going to fade out as I collect resources.